welcome to Nareshai Technologies, uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about uh, operations on non-static data. What is the meaning of that? If any one object is doing modification on non-static data, those modifications are not affected to other objects. If you are doing any modification on non-static data by using one object, those modifications are not affected to other objects. So, this is what uh, last video diagram itself. I am doing the modification on top of one non-static data or one memory. Those modifications are not affected to another memory. Now, all those things I am going to be show you programmatically. All these things I am going to be show you right now with the programming concept. So, here I am taking one notepad to develop the this program. Let me take one class. The class is uh, most of the cases in the real world, the classes are always become public only. Now, class operation on non static uh, data, operations on non static data, ONSD I am taking here. Now, if for executing the program, we required one method like a public static void main and a string array s. After that, I am taking two non static variables as usual. Now, int a equal to what triple one and int b equal to what here triple two. Uh, now, object here, I am creating an object what is that non static data operations on non static data od equal to od one equal to new operations on non static data. Now, observe here, whenever we creating an object, JVM will provide one memory and that memory is pointing by the OD1. Now, let me print the data which is available in the OD1. So, how can we print system.out.println OD1 s after that OD1 dot a plus dot 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 plus what is that OD1 OD1 dot b od1 dot b this is my data now observe here as usual i'm creating one more object that is od2 that is what here od2 so here i'm converting all these uh, od1 to what here od2 yes od2 next one is uh, od2 now let me save this one my class is public, so file name must and should be same as the class name. All files I am saving on top of what here desktop. Now, this is our dot java file onsd.java. To executing the program, we required a command prompt to compile and execute where exactly my program is existed on top of the desktop itself. So, let me go for desktop cd cd desktop s. Yes. I moved into the desktop. Now, I am going to be compile the program java c onsd dot java is yes, successfully my program is going to be compiled. Yes, there is a small uh, spelling mistake what is that a system not uh, this is s and uh, this is what your s itself good. Now, let me compile again now java onsd yes now i am executing initially od1 od2 are having the data like what triple one triple two triple one triple two like this here triple one and triple two here is also what here triple one and triple two after that what i am doing i am doing some operations od1 dot a equal to triple eight od1 dot b equal to triple nine i am doing some operations after doing the operations what i am doing again i am printing what uh, this data ok again i am printing what od2 control c control v now i am arranging into proper order now one more thing is so here for more clarity purpose i am writing somewhat stores here 
now observe. So, now I am doing the modification on top of one memory by using obj1. Now, what happen observe? I am again I am going to be updated my byte code by using compilation process after that here observe initially ob od1 value is what triple one triple two now triple eight triple nine but whatever the modification we done on the od1 those modifications are only affected to od1 but not affected to od2 in the same manner if you are doing modification on top of if you are doing modification on top of what is that uh, od2 now here observe now this is what od2 od2 and this is od2 this is what here triple six and this is what triple seven yes i am not doing anything just uh, instead of obj1 i am using obj2 now observe here again i am updated my byte code java c o n s d dot java after that java o n s d now observe here now i am doing the modification by using ob od2 uh, converted into what year triple one into triple six and a triple two into what year triple seven but these triple six and triple seven is not updated to what year od1 by seeing this output we can conclude whenever we doing the operations on top of the non static data by using one reference those operations are not affected to another memory understand so up to now we did discuss up to now we did discuss two types of variables totally i told you like uh, under the primitive variable under the primitive variable we have two types like uh, class level and the one is what here local and again under the class level we have two types one is the static and the one is what uh, non static only static variables i am discuss non static variables i am discuss but uh, i am not discuss about static blocks and non static blocks that is separately i am going to be discuss in coming videos and uh, one more type is we have what is that uh, local variables one more type we have what is that local variable no object here if you are designing any variable at a class scope that is what here class level variable if you designing any variable at a local that is what here a local variable local means what here within the a separate block of a class so what is separate block of a class what is class level block and what is exactly class level variable and what type of modifiers can be applied on the local variables those type of interesting issues we will see in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you Thank you.